Hey folks, my name is Sean and this is a, a test drive in the city with the 2020 Model Y with the full self-driving package purchase. And so we'll take a look and see how it does. Um, I'm doing a quick trip, a city trip around town and it's about 7 or 8 miles and so roughly 10 or 15 minutes here. And so I'm going over to my brother's place. If you actually look at the map right now, I'm supposed to be going straight, but for some reason Tesla didn't put me in that middle lane to go straight and it put me in the two left lanes to go left. And so that's okay for this trip because if I go straight, I'm going to hit the freeway. I'm headed over to my brother's house, so this left lane is preferred and uh, I'm not touching the wheel. We'll, we'll see how it does. In my past experience it like almost makes this left turn without me grabbing the wheel and it looks like it is but then it doesn't then I, I grab the wheel here kind of bring it back into uh, the lane here but it, it's not expected to make that turn just yet uh, I know I've been I've been testing it but um, it, it's not making a turn just quite yet so this is the first update and and as far as software I'm on the latest update 20 2020.24.6 and so this is uh, the next update since they rolled out with the red lights and the stop signs and so on this certain update here you don't have to confirm on every green light anymore if there's a lead card in front of you like how we have here there's no confirmation on my side I don't have to tap the uh, pedal the go pedal or I don't have to click on the lever to go down and so I just kind of follow the car as far as keeping in within its lane we don't have any issues here yeah the only thing that kind of sucks and I know a lot of people have said it but it, it stays with the speed limit and so a lot of times in these city roads people are going 5 or 10 over and if you're on autopilot or FSD to go across town it, you, only, you can only do city limit and so that's 45 and I, I've been staying on the right lane just so other people can get around me when I'm doing these tests but if, if you're on the faster lane uh, people tend to go around you just because you're you're doing speed limit other people aren't okay so we got a light ahead of us it's green it can see that it's green and uh, no nothing needed on my side uh, I just let the car go, kind of go through and, and that's probably the best way to use this feature uh, I, I mean I wouldn't use it if I didn't have a lead card in front of me because if, if you don't have a lead card in front of me you have to you have to press the go pedal you have to click on the lever to give the confirmation and so the best way to kind of use this feature in the city is to have a, a lead card in front of you that way you'll just kind of follow what that car does it will still pay attention to the lights and everything but you'll follow what that car does and you don't have to give all those uh, confirmations we're coming up to a light here Tesla slows down on its own. It recognizes the signal. It flashes on the screen here shortly, and then um, it's gonna just kind of follow traffic. It's, it's trying to find the middle of the lane right now. Bring me kind of back and forth a little bit there. But again, with the lead card, there's no confirmation on my side. The light is green, and the car in front of me is close enough where it knows that it's going, and so um, it'll, it'll just kind of follow that car. And, and for me, that, that's probably the best feature I use um, on the freeway. I'm, I'm like 99% on autopilot, and so in the city, not so much, but with this newer feature, I'm probably going to use it a lot more often. Green light. No confirmation needed on my side, and the car just kind of picks up and goes. And I, I do have to touch the steering wheel every once in a while. I know that um, I think Comma AI they they have that camera that looks at your eyes to make sure you're paying with the, paying attention, and so you don't have to touch the steering wheel. Hopefully Tesla does something like that in the future recognizes the light it's red comes down to a stop um, coming down to a stop and leaving from a stop or leaving from a light uh, the acceleration and deceleration they're all pretty smooth no issues and here it's uh, taking off on its own no confirmation needed on my side 
going through the inter intersection, no, no issues there. The, the only time I've seen issues with intersection is it's uh, you're going up a hill and the camera system can't really see the other side just yet and so uh, on those particular hills I, I would be careful but if it's a flat road like this uh, no issues oh this one so on this one I had to confirm because there, there was no lead car um, ahead of me I mean the one ahead of me was too far I didn't recognize it and, and, and like I said you see how these cars passing me because they're going 5 or 10 about speed limit and I'm only going 45 which is what stayed on this road we're coming up on my turn here I have to signal or I have to give a confirmation again um, and this is how it, it acted the first time this uh, feature came out but I'm gonna signal over and so ideally for me based on my experience so far uh, if you want to use this feature it's probably best if you just hop behind somebody and have a lead car in that way um, the, the drive is much more pleasant doesn't require as much attention to uh, every single light it just kind of flows with traffic Tesla's not capable of doing any left turn at this time and so I, I, I take control and um, go through this intersection here it actually makes me stop at this light and so it stops and then I, I go and I'm engaging uh, FSD again and we'll see how it does here. It, this road is a little curvy, but it's relatively smooth. Um, I've heard a, a comment in the past where it, people say it tend, it, it, Tesla tends to hug you closer to the left lane than the middle of the lane. But for me, I, I think I think once you get comfortable with it, um, it you'll be fine. But um, like if I was in that left lane there. It, it feels like it's pretty close to the middle divider but if you really look at the car it's, it's about the same distance but most people would drive closer to the right line versus the middle divider coming up to the light recognizes the light lead car in front of me comes to a stop on its own green and then it takes off overall th this is to me this is a really good update just because there's less demand from me as a driver I, I don't have to give confirmation on every single red light every single stop sign um, if the traffic is flowing then then I just kind of go no lead car here I, I had to get confirmation there but um, that's okay that's less confirmation Hopefully in the future they can do something about that, but for now, um, it, it is what it is and, and we'll kind of use it. But overall, I think it's a really good update for city driving. That's, um, that's helped me or make the drive a little smoother compared to uh, the first time the software came out uh, about a month ago. That's all for this trip. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.